Hello everybody, thank you for joining me for another Alfred Hitchcock Presents Review. Today I will be talking about Season 4, Episode 19, Morning of the Bride, starring Barbara Belgettis and Don Dubbins. Uh, I have to be honest, this is an interesting episode of Alfred Hitchcock Presents, but I didn't necessarily love it. I didn't really enjoy this one that much. I think this is a case of an episode that probably played really well when it came out. I think it came out in 1959, I believe, because I looked it up. Um, and there will be spoilers. And the reason I'm saying that is because this episode definitely resembles a certain movie that came out uh, about a year later or so. And uh, I'll go through the episode as I always do and talk about some of the things I liked and didn't like about this episode. So we start with our main character, Helen, and she's waking up. She's narrating a lot of this episode in flashback. She's also talking to a picture of a woman who's very important to the plot. So... In our first scene, we get um, our first flashback scene. We get Helen talking to a woman named Pat, who's played by Patricia uh, Hitchcock, which is pretty cool. And it turns out she's looking forward to meeting her boyfriend Philip's mother. But then Philip comes by and he says they can't meet because his mother is upset. And he says it's his fault because he's in the service and he has to leave for a while. So they keep talking, and Helen still really wants to meet the mother, but. Philip just tells her that he really loves her and cares about her, and um, he kind of avoids the subject of the mother anymore at this point, and I'm already suspecting something strange is going on. So then Helen talks to Pat a little more. She's concerned because she's older, and she said sometimes Philip seems like a, you know, a little bit younger, maybe more like a child or whatever, and she definitely has some help doubt, some self doubt, excuse me, about the whole relationship. So. We go to the next scene, and Helen and Philip are talking about his mother again. Um, Helen is very puzzled. It's troubling her why Philip won't talk about the two of them getting married. And Philip says she just needs you know time to get used to the idea. She's basically attached to him, and you know Philip all all they've had is each other for a long time. So Helen decides she's going to go to see this mother on her own. But when she takes a trip there. A lady talks to her and says that nobody's home and we see a very far away shot of this mother. And I pretty much have the episode figured out at this point, the twist. But to be fair, in 1959, audiences probably didn't. I don't know if this episode is particularly aged well. This is one that probably worked a lot better back then, at least in my opinion. So we go to the next scene and Helen and Philip are having dinner. And Helen tells Philip about what happened, that he tried to go to see his mother and she seems to kind of feel a little bit strange about the whole situation. She says uh, she was pretty much ignored. And Philip says that wasn't his mother. That was someone visiting. And to prove it, he shows a picture of his mother, which is the picture that we saw at the beginning of the episode that Helen is talking to. So we go to the next scene. And after some advice from uh, her friend Pat, Helen decides she needs to put up the pressure. She basically tells Philip she needs to break things off and not see him anymore because she's been waiting a long time to get married and he keeps putting it off. So Philip finally with no choice says, well, we'll get married tonight. So we go to the next scene and I believe they do get married. It doesn't really <laughs> specify that for sure, but it sure appears that way. And Helen goes to check on Philip's mother. And this is kind of where the flashbacks in the present uh connect I believe this episode's a bit confusing timeline wise but I think that's correct and it turns out that we find out that Philip's mother passed away quite a few years ago I think it said 10 years ago um, on the paper that they showed but then I think Helen said it was a different amount of time but it's not a big deal it's not that important but then Philip comes in and he starts talking to someone which is supposed to be his mother, but we know his mother isn't really there. Now, for all the buildup this episode had, I did predict uh, the twist, kind of, but I'm not really sure what to make of this. I'm not sure if Philip was kind of replacing his mother with Helen, or if he thought his mother was a part of himself, or if he was just envisioning an imaginary person. It's not really made 100% clear, and I actually kind of looked into this to see if I missed something, and I couldn't really find any more information. So I guess you just kind of judge for yourself. But one way or the other, Philip's definitely attached to his mother. I thought this ending was kind of unconvincing, but I get it. It was 1959 TV, and this was probably as far as they could take this. This type of plot would be much more fleshed out in Psycho the next year, which is an all-time classic and one of my 
favorite horror movies of all time. But like I said, I thought this episode was kind of all over the place. I didn't think the twist ending was that satisfying. I also didn't care for the overly melodramatic musical score, which didn't really fit the tone of the episode, in my personal opinion. And I just thought the whole episode was kind of average. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't great either. Once I figured out the twist, I didn't... I thought it was a little slow, but it was still interesting at times, and it's very well acted, and it's pretty well directed as well. So this one's a mixed bag for me, and I'm going to give Morning of the Bride a 2.5 out of 5. Some people might really love this episode. Others might feel it's kind of dated, like I did. I'm sure there'll be a variety of opinions, as always, so feel free to let me know what you thought in the comments. So 2 out of 5 for Morning of the Bride. Thanks for watching.